This is how to install an Epson scanner in Fedora 29. I'm using my 9.5 year old Epson Perfection V300 color photo scanner and I'm installing it in Fedora 29 XFCE spin. These procedures should be similar for other Epson scanners and for other versions of Fedora. However, make sure you have the drivers that are specific to your scanner. Now I'm going to open a browser. And I'm going to search for Epson B300. I'm just going to go to the first choice here. And here's support. So I'm going to scroll down. Please choose an OS operating system. And if you scroll way down, you find Linux. I'm going to go down here to drivers, support for Linux. This goes back and forth, if you may recall. Important, Epson does not provide support for Linux drivers. I know that, but they're here. Linux drivers for Epson products. We're going around in a circle again. V300. So here's an all-in-one package. That's all they have. Click on download. You have to accept the license agreement. package download page and you have choices. Since this is Fedora, I'm using the RPM versions and I'm using the 64-bit versions. So I click on download. Now I've moved that bundle to a dedicated folder and I'm going to double click. And it opens X Archiver or whatever archive manager your version of Fedora happens to have installed. I'm going to make that full screen. I'm going to click on Action, Extract, and I'm going to extract it. I clicked on Plus so I can see what's in there. Now if I go back to the Extracted folder and open that, I have Plugins, Data, and Core. Each of these only contains one file, so I wish they hadn't put them in separate folders, but this is what you get. So I'm going to open a new window. File, New Window. And under Plugins, there's the ESCII Interpreter. I'm going to copy that and paste it into the main folder. Edit paste. Go back up. Double click on data. There's I scan data. Going to copy that. 
paste it into the main folder. Go back to core, double click on that, and there's iScan 230. Going to copy that and paste it into the main folder. Now there's a README document and there's also an install shell script. I found that the install shell script has never worked for me, so I'm going to skip that altogether. And I'm going to concentrate on these three files. But before I do any of this, I'm going to open DNF Dragora. I'm going to click on Show X8664 No Arch Only and let it populate. All right, now I'm going to look for sane dash back ends. Click on search. Here I find sane back ends and it's not installed, so I'm going to have to install this. You may find that this is installed with some versions of Fedora and not with others, depending on what software comes with the system. So I'm going to click on that, click on Apply, shows the dependencies. One thing I want to note here, though, is that this is version 1.0.27, the latest version. Click on OK. Enter my password. Click on OK. And now I have sane back ends. I'm going to close DNF Tagora. So now I'm going to go back to that folder. And I have iScan data, iScan, and the ESCII interpreter. I'm going to have to install them in that order. So I'm going to right click and open a terminal here. I'm going to type sudo space rpm space dash i for install space i scan dash data asterisk dot asterisk. Press enter. Enter my password. Press enter. And that's done. So now I'm going to type sudo space rpm space dash i space i scan dash 2.30 asterisk dot asterisk. I have to type enough of the name before the asterisks so that these are unique files in this folder but I don't have to type the entire file name. Press enter. That's done. Now I'm going to install the ESCII interpreter, sudo 
space rpm space dash i s k e s c i asterisk dot asterisk press enter now that's installed so if I go to applications click on graphics I find image scan for Linux however to try it out I'm going to have to plug in my scanner So now I'm going to Applications, Graphics, and click on Image Scan for Linux. And the application opens up. So that's how to install the Epson V300 scanner in Fedora 29 XFCE. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.